What's going on guys? We're gonna do a little modification to the snorkel today to put that pumpkin head on the snorkel. All you're gonna need is a knife to cut that, the bottom out, some Gorilla Glue to glue the brackets down. I'm also gonna use a little screw or bolt, I'm not sure yet, to also help mount them on. And uh, the L brackets I'm using are I think one and one half inches and 90 degrees. And the pumpkin I'm using is this pumpkin by Jimmy Gimme, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. This is the pumpkin that everyone has been using, the original person who made the, um, the video for doing this used it as well. I can't think of his name, so shout out to him. I just wanted to make a little more detailed video, but that is who I got the idea from. And hopefully I can do this as well with a snowman, Christmas tree, or Santa Claus for Christmas. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the snorkel bracket here. So we can measure up the pumpkin on this. Usually it's either some kind of bolt, or in my case, it's just a flathead screwdriver. So just wanna get it loose enough to where the whole thing will pop off. Next thing you're going to want to do is measure up the pumpkin. So, pumpkin sits about here. And then you want to figure out what's about even. You can either measure this or eyeball this, depends on how comfortable you are. I'm probably just going to eyeball it. Uh, as you can see, you have a dead center area on the pumpkin, which is pretty close to what I need. I need it a little bit wider. So, I'm just going to take my pocket knife. Now that I've figured out that this is about even, I'm going to do one cut here, one cut there, one cut there, one cut there. Cut here, and a cut there. So then you may not be able to see it on video. You may not be able to see it on the video, but here's hole, 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 hole. So you can see it's almost perfect with this. I tend to cut on the inside of that just so it doesn't tend to be too loose. But again, measure it how you want it. You can do it with a marker, you can measure it by diameter. It's all up to you. Once you feel you got it where you want it, mine goes on pretty good. It's a little, little snug, but that's about how you want it. <clears throat> um, just don't do what I did. <laughs> I made the mistake of trying to test it without gluing on the brackets first. And as you can tell, if you're not looking, it's somewhere in here. So currently my position is trying to bang this out. I'm gonna have to look for a uh, magnetic wire. I forget what those pieces are called, you know, for loose bolts. Just uh, keep that in mind. If you do this, don't be dumb like me. So I went ahead, started doing the screws where you're gonna put things at. Um, obviously this is just a hole I've started. I'm gonna end up putting another screw through there. You can use rivets. Uh, bolts with with lock nuts, whatever you want to do really, as long as you can get them to lock in place. And uh, really what I do is I measure like so, then I realize, okay, on the inside, that's where I need my hole to be. Put it in, put a little bit of, of this Gorilla Glue in right here, just on the end, just so the bolt's locked in. Uh, and then you put some on the inside of here and then just clamp it in once it's on that bolt. So then, you, then it's basically locked in. You shouldn't have any issues of it coming off. You don't need it to be crazy secure. We're just talking a little bit of wind. Maybe you want to be a little more cautious if you do a lot of highway driving. Uh, but like I said, try to find the most flat spot possible. And when you screw these in, like I did here, you can see how flat wise, the end here is a little bit off, but the inside one is flat and flush. So that's why I did it there. But this one happened to be the opposite somehow. And that's the way I did it that way. So. Um, I don't have a ton of, uh, I don't have any clamps here, so I'm just using a, uh, a, basically a photography backdrop holder, which is working just as well. So, um, I'm just going to continue the process on each one of these until it's done. These take about two hours to dry, so being it's a little bit later today, I'm probably not going to be able to finish this until tomorrow morning. So I let everything dry overnight. See, there's a little glue in his mouth because it tripped down a bit. Uh, I did decide to add a little zip ties just to you know, keep up the extra security. I'm kind of worried that these bolts may, or excuse me, not the bolts, but the 
L brackets make them a little loose. I didn't like how the Gorilla Glue worked. I think next time, um, once Halloween's over, I'll probably either redo this or buy a new pumpkin and just do bolts with like a lock nut on the back side of it. I think in the end, that'll just be a lot stronger and uh, won't have to be as worried about it falling off. So with that said, that's all that should be done. Just need to attach it back up to the snorkel uh, head and should be good, good to go. Let's slide it on down. Right there, maybe. To figure out a little bit, a little leeway. Somewhere about right here. And then we'll just clamp this down. And that should be about it. Make sure it's looking straight. See, it's kind of looking towards me a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. Then just tighten it down. So the pumpkin is done. As you can see, the black tends to blend in a little better. I see some silver kind of showing here, but they were all silver, they'd show a lot more. But as you can see, this is nice and tight. I mean, I'm pushing up pretty hard. Pumpkin I'm pushing up on pretty hard. Uh, I don't see this being an issue. Short highway drives, we're regularly driving around town. And then of course, you wanna run the light in the back here. All you gotta do is just, I ran it right here and then through the door into an inverter, but it's all up to, it's all up to you, uh, your preference, how you wanna do it. Um, but that's about it. Don't forget to keep your regular snorkel head with you just in case that thing falls off or, uh, you know, something happens to it or if it starts to rain or something. But the, as you can see, the mouth is pretty big and the eyes and nose, so it shouldn't have an issue getting air.